I like a lot of cream in my coffee. I like a lot of cream in my coffee too. I like a lot of scotch. Hi, my name is Josh Tudichuk. I'm Connor Fullerton. And my name's Alistair Lane. We're here to propose a new product for William Grant & Son Limited that could not only open up a new market segment for your core brands, but also appeal to a unique target market. Currently, William Grant & Sons Limited provides a wide variety of hard liquors and spirits. This includes an extensive variety of different Scotch whiskies, namely under the Grant's Whiskey and Glenfiddich brands. However, we've noticed that there is a lack of a dessert liquor under the William Grant & Sons core brands. We say this because there are several core brands including Grant's Whiskey, Glenfiddich, Hendrix, and Drambuey that are widely recognized. But there are many smaller companies under the William Grant & Sons umbrella that represent niche markets. To clarify on what we meant by a dessert liqueur, think of an alcoholic beverage like Bailey's or Kahlua that's typically mixed with a cream. These kind of drinks are widely consumed and represent a potential pivot for William Grant and Sons that could generate additional revenue. In case you're still skeptical about who would actually drink a coffee and whiskey mix, let us not forget about Irish coffees. Not only are Irish coffees quite simply a mixture of coffee, whiskey and sugar, but it is also a very popular drink all over the world. We're proposing that William Grant & Son provide a new dessert liqueur to expand their product line and their core brands. It will be produced under the Grant's Whiskey brand as a premium product. The product is a scotch whiskey infused with coffee, with the coffee being at the forefront but not overpowering. The coffee flavor is enough to be noticeable and accent the rest of the liqueur, such as the scotch natural flavor and the cream. Therefore, we have decided to call it Grand's Premium Coffee Liqueur, or Grand's Premium for short. To give you an idea of the taste, think back on the other liqueurs like Bailey's and Kahlua that we had mentioned earlier, both of which are commonly mixed with cream. Grant's Premium will be similar in texture with these, but with coffee undertones that are meant to remind the consumer of drinks like Irish coffee. Now, who exactly are we marketing this product to? Women will be the primary market for this product. This choice of target market was decided upon after some market research that revealed that there is a potential market opportunity. Since 1998, there has been a rise in the frequency of alcohol consumption in women. In 2008, it was shown that 41% of women consumed alcohol at least twice a week, which is a significant rise since 1998's mere 28%. Of these same women consuming at least twice a week, wine and hard liquors were at the forefront of the popular drinks. As a result of these changing consumption patterns, we are seeing a potential market opportunity to sell William Grant Sons products to this demographic. In addition to women, we will also be marketing this product to a group of consumers known as NEOs. The NEO consumer, which stands for New Economic Order, represents a stark contrast to what is known as the traditional consumer. Unlike the traditional consumer, NEOs are known for their particular spending habits, which focus on finding premium, new, and atypical products that express who they are. Essentially, NEOs are looking for the next best thing. Even better is that NEO consumers are also looking to develop long-lasting relationships with brands and products that they like, but also consider as a product that they think describes and identifies them. With the traits of the neo-consumer in mind, we built this product from the ground up to appeal to their interests. Now, you might be wondering, isn't this a bit risky to create a product to appeal just to one consumer group? If so, it might not fit into our current product line because it's too niche for our core brands. Fortunately, this concern can be put to rest because neo-groups represent one half of the entire consumer base worldwide. Wait a minute, with half of the population being women, and half of them being neo-consumers, does this mean that we can, in a broader sense, appeal to a quarter of the total consumer market? Sweet. However, we are not naive in thinking that entire quarter of the population is going to be interested in our product. In particular, the price point and the taste will be the, a main concern for the target audience. Though it is branded as a premium product, it is comparable to its competitors such as Jack Daniels Whiskey, 
So a 75 milliliter bottle of our product will sell for around 35 US dollars. In combination with this price point and the atypical flavor, we're nailing down two different demographics that would take the most interest in this product. Namely, young women between the ages of 21 and 30, and older women over the ages of 50. Young women will still be experimenting with many brands, and older women may be looking for something new to try. Okay, I'm back guys. Of all the things, I love promotions the best. Now for William Grant and Son, how are we going to promote this new product for our target audience? Well, one way is via taste testing, which is a type of sales promotion. Taste testing can provide direct face-to-face -face contact with their target audience and allow instant feedback for product approval or improvements if necessary. It allows us to understand what consumers do and do not like about Grant's Premium. Therefore, changes to the product can be made to make it better fit our target audience. Another promotional strategy is attaching sample products to already produced bottles to give a free sample of our new product to the consumer. The male would bring it home and the wife would try it. If she likes it, she would go out and buy a new bottle and try some more. Giving out free samples and getting customers to taste test our new product is a great way to increase brand awareness and product awareness. Free samples encourages customers to try it because there is zero risk and it's free. If they do like it, they can buy a bottle safely knowing that they will enjoy the product. Don't get us wrong, enjoyment is our first most priority for the consumer. We want our customers to enjoy the sample product as a way of encouraging future purchases. Another promotional strategy is sponsorship of our new product. One form of sponsorship we are thinking is celebrity endorsement, where we can sponsor someone who has an easy access to our target audience. But who could that be? Uh, Ellen DeGeneres, of course. She's the new Oprah. Ellen has a huge talk show that is mainly targeted towards a female audience who are our target market. This would be a great way to increase brand awareness and resonate with our target market. So in closing, we have recognized that there is a market opportunity to sell William Grant & Son products to women. We have also recognized a lack of a dessert liqueur in William Grant & Son's core brands. Our solution is to provide a premium dessert liqueur under the Grant's Whiskey brand. This product will be a whiskey scotch liqueur with coffee undertones meant to be mixed with cream, for full flavor, much like a Bailey's or Kahlua product. We recommend promoting this product through sales promotion and sponsorship as a way of encouraging consumer confidence in this new unusual product. The nature of the product will also fit with the preferences of a neo-consumer who value the unique and desire premium relationships and make up half of the world's consumers. Finally, a celebrity endorsement with Ellen DeGeneres could offer an immense opportunity to skyrocket the products and the brand's awareness by connecting with our female target audience. So, do you want to try some?